Oh, hello my friends. Today is December the 26th, 2018. TDS, it's a Wednesday, just after Christmas Day. And today I did promise on my new site to publish video about... Well, it is related to Mr. Kaczynski because all this stuff went on under Mr. Kaczynski and much of it repeated because of Mr. Kaczynski. Mr. Andrzej Duda, Mr. Morawiecki are uh, hand-picked, basically chosen politicians by uh, Mr. Kaczynski. And this is what we have going on right now. And uh, things are not going for better. The latest letter, however, which I have received from Warsaw, because I was going to put up with it uh, and see how far this whole thing is going to take. Uh, this latest letter, however, was alarming. Uh, tomorrow I will contact the European Union Court for Human Rights. I will contact uh, Polish Ombudsman for Human Rights. Uh, I am going to contact a few other institutions and see if I can actually get some, some kind of assistance here in Poland. Uh, maybe from European Union or something like that. Uh, Polish people should definitely be alarmed about the stuff I will talk about. Actually about the stuff I'm talking on my news site about in respect to Poland. Uh, and people worldwide should be alarmed big time because it concerns again Russia. Uh, it concerns human slavery, trade, uh, trade with the people, pedophilia and such issues. Uh, you would not even believe how much these things are actually related. Uh, global society should be alarmed about this report. I deem for this report to be quite groundbreaking because a lot of things are happening all over the world but so far, no reasonable explanation was ever provided by anyone. There was nobody that would uh, go in any depth, in any detail about why these things are happening, how come these things are happening. So, you know, I decided as well as mine to just bring it on and get over with uh, this kind of stuff. Uh, it's a little scenario I have written, this stuff here that you see. Some of it I am not going to go through entirely. Some of it I'm just going to give you a clue. Uh, like let's say here I have marked something like what I was told in case it would happen if I would come up with uh, a video like this one here and so on. For now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to left this on the side. Uh, but if things will continue to go in, in, in a wrong direction like this, uh, well, basically then we're just going to have to lay out these things because, you know, uh, I am not going to be paying bill uh, for anybody uh, for doing the stuff like I'm about to talk to you right now with me uh, and attempting to create something out of me that, that never ever was there. Okay, so the first thing I would like to touch would be a talk which I had with another lady and she is related to the politicians in Warsaw and this just happened like a week ago maybe we had this talk and it was like if I'm not concerned, since I am, you know, folks, I am, I am, I am 47 years old. Uh, on December the 9th, uh, I became 47. And she somehow touched a subject that would be very sensitive to a lot of people. Uh, a pedophilia subject. Uh, well, this is the lady that... We became quite friends, and she is very concerned for me, uh, is looking out for me, is trying to help me out because she knows I'm a good person, 
I help her out around the house and uh, so on and so forth. She helped me out tremendously a lot. And, you know, but she kind of signaled me that, you know, uh, maybe out of caution, maybe to just for me to look out uh, after myself or something like this because I'm 47 and single. Uh, and uh, most likely because of the reason I have stated before, because she does have a connection to Varsho. And so it was a little bit like maybe testing my self-assurance uh, stability to see how am I going to react if anything can be produced out of that or something like that. Uh, definitely the subject she touched was deeply embedded in MKUltra. Thanks foremost, I would say, to uh, Mr. Kaczynski, Borut Pahor, Slovenian president, uh, became recently a Slovenian president, still is a president, his tenure ended, he still is a president. I really don't know what's going on with that. And then, of course, also Donald Trump, uh, but foremost, the Russians. The Russians were into this, they were like, uh, for them, this subject was like, uh, you know, honey for the bees or something like this. They were just fascinated with uh, manipulation of the humankind, uh, just what possibly can we done with it, and how one can be even used for the purposes of human slavery, human trade. I have spoken about an individual here from Minsk, uh, is a police officer from Minsk is ranging inside of the Polish immigration system already for years uh, what is happening here with me now might not be actually the first case there might be some other victims before me uh, this is something that yet must be determined but this individual is lurking inside of the immigration system, Polish immigration system, for years already. I have recorded uh, a roommate who first gestured me that he saw him like two years ago in Warsaw and stuff like that. It was just used, you know, they, what they do is they give you like a little glimpse, a little clue, and it's just used to obtain your trust and then they hit you with completely other issues and so on and so forth, okay. But so far it was really unsuccessful stuff they tried. Uh, this individual, I think I have written, it's got about four like direct subordinates uh, on my news site. He might have actually six of them uh, because there were two also other uh, that were here for three other came with us and now, I would have to do the count, I'm not going to go into it right now, but those are all Russian Chechens uh, and it's like a little net that is then spread onto, uh, used, you know, for this pressure from him to be spread onto other people here in, in, in Chechen, on Chechen families, which, like it or not, you just have to uh, obey these orders from this individual. Chechnya is part of the Russia uh, and these people are all Russian citizens. I am basically in, in, in a Russia right now. There is about 97-98% here people are Russian people inside of this center. So, you know, uh, in the end I explain how I have uh, you know, justified her, my views on these things. Uh, well, first of all, uh, just for me to go about and record this video, this type of video, uh, most of people, they would not even think about doing anything like this. Uh, obviously, I'm very self-secured, self-assured individual. Uh, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, it's, not, it's not touchy to me to discuss this kind of subject, subjects. Uh, I touched other subjects, very sensitive subjects, so I don't mind to touch this one. And this is really an eye-opener for the people to understand 
uh, how bad things can happen, how bad things are just looking, lurking from around the corner. Uh, Russia must be acknowledged as a global terrorist. Uh, Russia is a terrorist state. Uh, I'm very sorry to say that. Uh, I would not want to say this ever. But uh, Vladimir Putin is uh, just really simply a terrorist, a criminal, a criminal of the worst kind, let's just say, individual that got himself into the stuff that uh, no politician, no president definitely should, should get himself into. But the guy was a snitch to begin with. He was in the KGB. He served there in Germany and the manipulation techniques with the people, uh, how to muck people, how to, uh, you know, set up people and stuff like this. It just became part of his life. And as a result of this politician in Russia, main politician in Russia, entire global society is affected. Wherever you go, uh, really, people complain about this stuff. Uh, it's just becoming crazy really uh, so i'm gonna start with the dembak here uh dembak is actually d-a-b-a-k-k -A -K. uh you know in latin letters uh this is just a suburb of Warsaw, close to prushkov this is where i was stationed for a month uh and it was interesting because the ruskis um of course, they created a whole net. I have already talked about the way I, I was in the same room with them. But what was interesting is that there was a, I'm not going to say a couple, okay, but it was an old couple. It was a police officer from Kadyrov that appeared. And it was a girl, Ukrainian girl, who sold herself to the KGB. Uh, I don't know if she still lives here in Poland or not. I have no idea about that. But the two, when they had me under MK Ultra, the two somehow became a couple. A bit odd, but they became a couple and they did engage in a sexual relationships and stuff. Uh, eventually she became a psychologist and gave birth to two children appeared uh, as well in Dembak, basically was participated in MK Ultra. I have never mentioned her, uh, but she would appear uh, in Dembak and, well, her girl, I think, was about, I'm not going to obviously give her a name or anything like this, but was about a year and a half, maybe two years old, a little girl. And, you know, the whole thing was um, a beautiful mom uh, with a little girl like this, you know, and I just don't have a prejudice. I don't, uh, I don't have a prejudice because I don't want to repeat uh, mistakes from the past. I was one of those guys that, uh, you know, that fell about, um, you know, even more for the reasons I'm about to discuss right now, because I met this ladies and basically they would go and become pregnant with a complete losers, you know, a total losers and just were not really pleasant, not nice on their MK Ultra. They were quite evil sometimes. And so I came to conclusion that ladies like this are actually no good. Back in the US when I was brought, I would see a lot of the single moms, you know, they would be just looking then desperately once they would separate. In the U.S. would be music that, you know, they would just do the stuff like this also for the money, for the alimony and stuff like this. And then they would go and look for other guys to finance, you know, offsprings and stuff like this. And it was all kinds of mess, really. So... You know, you develop uh, really a prejudice, and this prejudice actually is based on self, on insecurity. Uh, males uh, should actually be more self-secure, I believe, about it. 
you know, and just do what males should do and not think about really uh, what the partner, what can happen and so on and so forth. Life is a risk for one thing and the girls like this oftentimes are burned, hurt. Uh, they learn that there are jerks in this world uh, and there is a price to pay for stupidities. And so more likely than not, girls like this are, I would say, a good catch. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, a little angel, you know, help raise a little angel. Uh, you know, basically see your spouse, see your wife uh, in some other form, or whatever. If that if that's the stuff that doesn't if doesn't if doesn't bother you, uh, then you're okay with it. Uh, never mind what people think about what what how they see what they have to say about it. I think really everybody should be more individually based, self secured, self assured, and you know go about their things. Uh, there is something good, something bad in everything, and it really, really matters a lot how you want to see your life as uh, go about it. <coughs> this girl, this girl, uh, she would still breastfeed uh, a little girl, and we became friends, and she would not mind to share her intimate moments in front of me and so on and so forth but I realized with time that this was like you know uh, what 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 looked like really you know that had like you know promising uh, it turned out to be quite manipulative way actually um, never mind we went apart uh, this girl was involved in one abduction of me under MK Ultra along with individual uh, police officer from Kadiro. At that time they were a couple and they would demonstrate this to me with assistance of the Polish police through Kaliningrad, Oblast Kaliningrad, through the Poland and straight into Kaliningrad. The Polish police gestured me basically like this. Uh, we can see it or we cannot see it. It will all depend on you in the future. I have to accent this. This is one of the things. Uh, this is one of the things. What is also interesting is this one here. This is the ID. The ID that you see is like... You cannot see very much out of this ID. Uh, it's worn out, whatever. But I would like to answer. Uh, I would like to accent that when photo was taken of this ID uh, before under MKO tribe was brainwashed thoroughly by the Polish police, by the Polish immigration police. You can be seen like this, or you can be seen like this. And when I was taking this photo in Zakopanich the photographer would not allow me to make like you know like uh, like a little smile or something like this but he would just go and you know make my face look like serious now not in a in a i don't know in a bad way this is not bad and not in a you know in in, in some kind of pleasant positive way uh he just created like this facial expression. He just would go to the last millimeter and totally direct me how, uh, what kind of face basically to make. Okay. Never mind. We went apart with this psychologist. I guess I did pass the test because I did not display any any irregular, any any bizarre, any any kinds of I would say you know, signs, anything that would suggest, indicates uh, some sort of, you know, problems with my mind, something that would, you know, anything that would, uh, you know, anything like this. We did spend, we did spend, what, a month together over there, 
would go back and forth together uh, and uh, I actually really tried I I kind of I tried to be father really I would really you know to me I'm just like open-minded a girl from Ukraine here in Poland we could do it we could start life here this was my idea it's okay it's all right because what I basically need is I need to get through the court to the people who have done this harm to me these people owe me a lots of money uh, these people have to pay what they owe I'm talking about the US government here I'm talking about the Germany I'm talking about these Western governments that have engaged in MKUltra made contract uh, a bit not only with you know Poland Russia and so on but with me personally that they will pay if I would be able to testify and bring the proofs and stuff like this okay so not too much concern about that stuff all through the money I need more one now that I would need one after 10 years so obviously it's really bad for me because I am 47 I am 47 and I don't know uh, when is too late to start the family these people really ate my life for one thing okay never mind uh, this KGB girl was not inside of the Denbuck because she would have some kind of political situation she also tried to convince me that God forbid political and stuff like this try to discourage you know disintegrate the reasons why I came and so on test me see how how I would react was in France was in Holland and pretty much I believe would do exactly the same thing she was used really to target you know kind of a model girl she was used to target uh, people that would uh, apply against uh, you know for political reasons in other countries against Russia and so on and then she would like you know become close with them and before you know uh, you know whatever you know, I have no idea individual upstairs on the first floor uh, that is I am not sure whether this individual is still here but it was this was another Chechen Russian who gave me another information about uh, this police officer I'm talking about right now from Kadyrov from Chechnya uh, mentioned how he witnessed how they have abducted a French journalist to the Russia so uh, this crew these people here the selective people it is a lot a lot a lot these people have seen uh, they know what uh, much more than I do I have seen on a YouTube some very serious uh, video recordings about this very place here in Grotniki and your watch already from few, few years ago in 2015 and so on there were people who placed they have like huge disparity huge disagreements here going on and like I said the owners of this place are I'm not gonna say they're closely associated with the Russians I was very clear very specific about it these people have met me on the MKO train Volgograd they threatened me that they would let Russians inside that I would get abducted if I would write in the future against Russians and so on and they have supported this movement here at best they give the total support for basically whatever these people asked here they got uh, I am in a situation that pretty much I would say uh, is totally controlled it's 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 a situation that is under absolute control and much of this control is obtained through the owners of this place now I'm not blaming these people I'm not blaming these people because of the stuff that have happened here to other people in Poland who would not want to cooperate but I am blaming Mr. Kaczynski for it this stuff did happen because of Mr. Kaczynski and this stuff continues to happen because of Mr. Kaczynski okay so this is why uh, till the Poland is gonna have a strong top stable politicians that are going to actually stand up for the borders for the sovereignty of Poland uh, then things like this are just going to be happening this is just the way it is 
Is this ever going to change? I do not know. This depends a lot on the Polish people. Polish people can change a lot in respect of this case and they did help me tremendously a lot. Uh, how much further, however, things can develop in a positive sense for me and Poland, I do not know, really. Uh, never mind, we went apart, I was transferred to this place here, straight into the room with this Russian uh, coordinator, this Russian KGB boss from Minsk, from Belarus, who had a little network of his people here, like six people, uh, and along with another Russian guy, and they would control all this other families, they would totally uh, watch how they behave, what their attitude, how they view me, how they see me as. And they, these people would just, this family, they just have to comply. And this guy would report to Moscow, he would report and keep in touch with the Moscow and ensure that, uh, you know, things are coordinated the way he would want things to be coordinated, the way Moscow would want basically things to be coordinated, okay. Uh, since this is about a lot about the pedophilia, and it's really, really interesting, in 2000 and probably 5, 2000, maybe it was 2004, I don't know, I think it was 2005, 2004. Um, what exactly went on here under MK Ultra? The politicians, the business people had a lot of sexual contact. Uh, they had a tremendously lot of sexually contact with locals. Uh, this is something I already have written about. It was a lot of teasing from females. Uh, and when you're subjected to MKUltra, uh, teased with the stuff like this, who knows what kind of substances they have used beside the drugs, uh, the MKUltras, it would last. Uh, it would not be like for a day or two or something like this, but these things would go for weeks, months. And then you would be returned back in Miami and so on. Problem with Miami is that most of the year is almost the same season. So it's very difficult to spot season changes and stuff like this. That's why Florida, it happens a lot on the Florida, something I was told by Americans to prompt, prompt it, uh, you know, to accent in my documentaries. A lot of people did not go down well with this stuff from the States. They watched this, they were not happy, they were not pleased about it, okay? And so, The first incident, a pedophilia related incident to me happened in 2004-2005 when my brain was basically liquefied. Okay, think about the brain and think about gel uh, and understand that when you are subject to MKUltra with the drugs like this, most likely that your brain turns into a gel because if you were to see from far away, let's say, uh, if you were to see from far away a child and a grown-up, a uh, child next to a grown-up, you would, I'm talking about maybe 10, 11, 12, you would somehow realize the difference. You realize the difference. Somehow you realize the difference. But if you take adult away and you're placed in front of the child uh, and you're brainwashed. And I remember this drugs they have used. These drugs would be so potent that, uh, boy, you would be just in between, you know, between the darkness when your mind would go like blank and uh you see whatever it is that you see and whatever it is that you see a lot is done through the people that engage by the staff members that know uh you know how to engage how to get exact response uh your view on how to see things is from you and so the first time i remember it was something like you know 
uh, it was in this kitchen in 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 Dembak, Debak, Dembak, uh, and I looked, and apparently that was uh, maybe twelve year old girl or something like this, and individual who was with me. It was a Slovenian police individual specific individual they have used at that opportunity ha just happened to be a close friend of mine who was a police officer Simon Bartl from the same town like I am from Novo Mesto from Slovenia and he said and they observed me that I observed her now again when you are drugged up you don't effing know uh, exactly what's going on you observe anything you can basically observe number one because you are bored like a shit uh everybody's doing their business everybody is after something but you're just sitting there like an idiot you are an idiot uh bored to death and surrounded by the people that basically decide about you manip manipulate you uh and so first first lesson to survive the stuff like this is to try to ignore as much as possible and just somehow go through this stuff and I think this is the, what the most people do but unfortunately they lose themselves in between reality and MK Ultra. this is where the problem begins this is why I think this video is so also so important you know and the next thing I hear was from my friend my ex friend Hey, you are a pedophile okay first was from the politicians that I observed this then I hear some yelling like wow 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 wah, screaming like this they had Chechen people there too they had people uh, from elsewhere too and then my friend says you are a pedophile and when I hear this him saying this you know and I did not even know what exactly he meant by this the first thing that happened was I got the feeling of anger in me first of all you are torturing me here you're doing this shit to me and second thing you're calling me even a pedophile and stuff like that uh, pretty much the same type of feeling I got when I was in Denbok and they repeated the scene uh, maybe to see absolutely to see how am I gonna react to something like this I was I was not happy about it Okay, this was the point number three here. Point number four, I did explain what drugs do to a human brain. They, they make jelly out of your brain. They, you're just not yourself, really. That probably is the best description. Okay. Now, this is phenomenal because when I was transferred to this location here also under MK Ultra we we'll start to pay, at, pay visitations to this place here uh, to Grotniki near Uch uh, and they had these politicians the Russians smelled like a big thing for them it would be like you know imagine you know somebody that talks against them and he could be actually potentially viewed or revealed as a pedophile or something and this would be like a big hit uh, and then even better you know then even better because apparently that these Chechens have expressed a big interest for me like for a whole variety of reasons to get me to Chechnya and they got an idea about basically how to resell me there were two groups that were interested in this stuff one would be Israelis that was one group and Israelis now did not however engage in this type of stuff they would not engage into pedophilia related stuff but the so-called Muslims if you want to see them that as uh, I'm not really sure about it because now uh, there are people here there are Muslims that don't see others as real Muslims and so on uh, it's a really strange situation uh, they started to see like pedophilia related issues as an opportunity for human trade for the human slavery now this is really really shocking 
but allow me to explain to you this stuff. They would have this children here, girls, and they would push them in my face and so on. And never mind, it doesn't matter. Okay, what matters is, for the most part of it, it didn't make effing sense to me. For other part, I really did not know what was going on. Because, again, under MK Ultra, you can so easily change age. Uh, children speak English, for one thing. And they have adults, they brainwash them, they tell them, they teach them how to. And very good English, boy, I will tell you that. And before you know, you don't... You get big time brainwashed with a, with a flush, with a stuff that is very, very misleading. Why is it so misleading? According to physicians, to the doctors, I was lucky enough, there was a group of Polish physicians, doctors, also present. And obviously, obviously at one opportunity, obviously they, they were not here, these people. This obviously is a fact, because at one opportunity, these doctors, these physicians, did explain to me in detail about what's going on. And what's going on is that, a human face changes over time, okay? If you look at the human face of the specific race, of the, speci of the specific races of the people, according to these physicians that studied this semi-Asian, semi-European people, uh, they realized that their facial features change from young, when it starts with the young, they more look like uh, like European and so on, uh, and it changes then into, it changes, it transferred into a different features over time when they grow up. And so, uh, if you present, if you start to brainwash somebody under MKUltra, uh, a child, uh, you depict him a child as a grown-up, uh, and you push a uh, face into his face and you deprive him of, uh, you know, of actually inciting sexuality and you deprive him of the sexuality and you probably use some other substance, substances such as Viagra. Who knows what they, these people used, what the hell they were doing. And then what you do is you inject, you interject this child back over time to him. Let's say this child grows up more and more and more and more and you interject this child back to him, there you might actually obtain this type of effect, this type of interest of adult uh, displaying an interest for pedophilia. Now, individual obviously had to be a little bit cracked in the head because uh, you know, it's just it's just a common sense. It just tells you something that the child should not be none of your interests, really, in a sexual aspect. This is just a mental sickness. But if you look at the Muslim culture, it's very, very, very different. They see these things as very, very different. In a Muslim culture, there is no such a thing like an age limit. Actually, there is not even such a thing like the limit of wives you can have. And so, now, there you have it. Ruskis, if we go back to the Ruskis, what have Ruskis figured out? Ruskis figured out that I will be an old man, that I will be a single old man, male, uh, starved for sex, uh, starved to have a family, starved to uh, start something, that I would be persecuted uh, throughout the Europe. Uh, they did so. Uh, Jews anticipated that eventually that I'm gonna, I will be tired enough after the, such a severe persecution. Remember, I applied in Norway, in Sweden, in Germany, Belgium, Austria, uh, Canada, I tried elsewhere in the US, I tried in uh, Hungary, I tried in Ukraine, I tried in Belarus. And when everywhere they do the stuff like this to you, 
uh, you know, what is anticipated from you is to obtain exactly this type of effect, either to steer you to Israel, basically to resell you to Israel. It's what, well, the lady I have just mentioned have advocated, and a bunch of other people, and either this or another option that would take you to the Mideas that would connect you with Arabia, with Saudi Arabia, also where the money is. And now you have these corrupt criminal politicians like Kaczynski, Kaczynski who first lied, how is going to be this, how he's going to help me, this and that, uh, but it's going to be for the Poland and this and that, and tra la 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 la. Psychologists, psychiatrists later uh, suggested that stuff like this they don't really do unless you know help me out obtain the proofs actually that there actually was MK Ultra unless it is for something known as resale so it was really really anticipated out of me for whatever cost basically to resell me to get me out of here through the methods like this so what they do is they abuse they do the stuff like this to you and then they get you the hell out of here and if that doesn't work, maybe they can get some kind of proof about the pedophilia from you and so on. You see, you get it. So this basically is how this is done. Would I know this stuff if it was not for MK Ultra? No, hell no. The only one that knows the stuff like this really are professionals, physicians, physicians that know MK Ultra, physicians that know the pedophilia issues, physicians that know actually how to create pedophiles. If it was not for these physicians that actually have explained to me this, I would not know any of this stuff. So what they did in this case, uh, these so-called Muslims, these Chechens here, they had they had three girls here. Okay, three girls that seems like are about 14 years old, maybe something like this and it might be more than that i have no idea it might be 15 might be 16 whatever it might be i am just i think it's probably 15 16 i'm just really not interested in it uh not even a little bit uh actually really pissed me off uh because they would stalk they would pose themselves pretty much uh, you know, everywhere, everywhere you would go, and what is really, really insultive. Now, it would be insultive actually if I would consider these people to have a brain, but I do not, so I'm not taking this personally. And it's related to the staff people here <coughs> would brainwash on how to seduce a grown up, how to. Uh, you know, how is it going to be? Russians insisted, you know, how this is going to be, how great this is going to be, and how it's going to be, and this and that. They would use exactly three of these girls also under MK Ultra when they would be growing up. That means started already from young. Now, Americans suggested something else. The Donald Trump team suggested that these girls are actually older, that they would use like fake, fake identities, that their age would be fake, that, uh, you know, something like they attribute to these immigrants, uh, you know, from Mideas, from Africa, when they come, to the male immigrants, male immigrants that lie about their age and stuff like this. I'm not sure. I don't actually think that uh, age could is could be disputable. Might be. Uh, and one of the girls, uh, at least, is what uh, I was brainwashed with. Under MK Ultra was personally picked by psychologist from, not psychologist, actually a nurse employed by psychiatric clinic in Ljubljana, which was involved in this stuff, uh, Andrea Jeric. And boy, she actually kind of uh, looks like her a lot. And Andrea alone gestured me uh, like uh, under MK Ultra, 
if this would be okay for me, if this would be okay for me, and uh, she said, sorry, but I have to look out for myself, so uh, boom, here, this is what you're going to have, in that sense. I don't think that this girl is actually even a daughter of a parents that are here, I think that this girl was picked somehow, some way, uh, in Chechnya, uh, to be here with these people. Uh, this is one of the claims I'm going to make all through, I don't know who supposedly her parents are. I don't know who would that be. Maybe the parents are uh, her real parents and I just don't know they are here or whatever. But uh, to me, kind of a feels that uh, this girl, I would have to see it, what the family is and if this is actually related. But stuff that I have just mentioned uh suggests me that this is the case the other two are authentic because i remember the individual the father who threatened the church and father who threatened and threatened and threatened this is going to be my wife this is going to be your wife this is going to be your wife and the guy is handicapped then you have another girl that supposedly pertained to the guy upstairs i have spoken a little earlier about how he witnessed they have abducted French journalist and so on. That girl supposed to be some kind of a cousin from him or something like this. And so there was a lot of talk here, a lot of laughing at me. Where is my wife? Why I'm not married? And this and that. And really, really, really a spooky environment. Because people no longer know what to think is could also be titled this video. This also could be a title of this thing here. Maybe we want to go and just close this video, end this video with who is guilty for it. Who is guilty for it all. Like I said, I will not go to the issue yet about uh, what will happen in case I will bring this subject up? Uh, I will not go to this to this stuff. Obviously, it would be idiotic to, for me to say that you know uh, it is a bad Muslims. Uh, look what they do. Look at the stuff they do. First of all, uh, let's not forget Russians gave them, Russians gave them a technology, they teach them on how to use it, and foremost, what is the most important part is they empower them. They empower them to do the stuff like this on the territory of Republic of Poland with the help, with the aid of Mr. Kaczynski, and it's something, again, is repeating through Morawiecki, through Andrzej Duda, again, two people handpicked by Mr. Kaczynski, by the Kaczynski brothers. This is, again, very important stuff to note. How important this stuff is, how well this stuff was explained, I think it's excellent. I think it's an excellent video for people to understand. Uh, there are just two things I want to say. Obviously, if I would be a pedophile, obviously, my God. Uh, now, again, the psychologist I am interested also has a girl uh, my God, obviously, I would not want to go and date a psychologist because this girl, uh, this girl would place me in a cage uh, just like this. If I would be a pedophile and stuff like this, and I would display this type of behavior, this type of tendencies, let's say tendencies, uh, my God, this girl would lock me up. Uh, I would not see the daylight, I think, and it would be the right thing to do. Uh, I can tell you this because she did punish me for other stuff, for the politically related stuff. And it's exactly why I love her so much. I love part of her that is so determined uh, to do the things that she feels are the right thing to do. Uh, I think she's extremely strong Polish girl, much stronger than the politicians here. Uh, she got into a quite a fight with uh, politicians because of her uh, 
convinc convictions which are completely in line with a Polish uh, personality, with, a, with authentic Polish, uh, healthy-minded people. This is just, these are just really, really facts about her that are fascinating to me. There's a whole bunch of other things I'm fascinated with. Okay, so obviously, no, uh, this does not appeal to me. This type of stuff does not appeal to me. It never did in any way. Uh, and obviously it never will. I would not go and do the stuff like this. Now, there is something else I want to say in respect to that. This stuff, this MK Ultra manipulations on how the age can be manipulated and the stuff like that uh, with a people, how this kind of stuff can be done with MK Ultra and so on. When they brought this, when they introduced this into this environment here, these people here, uh, they produced extremely undesirable uh, outcome, consequences. I remember the locals here who hated me first when they brought me here. I was a neo-Nazi, you were this, you were, I don't know what you were. Boy, it was not even two years later, they started to cry to me that I was actually right. And I was not right, I was wrong. I was wrong because I was actually, I would use the B word, I was bad. I would use that B word and three stars next to it because I didn't like stuff they did to me. I'd, what I would do is I would use anything possible to insult people and uh, I probably was not a very presentable person under MKUltra. Uh, you know, it's bad when you have somebody that is completely helpless in front of you and you go about bullying him and you end up going home crying. And that's exactly what I was. I would just, even like this, I would find the soft spots for the people and, uh, you know, hurt them in best uh, to my abilities. So they would just not the hell forget me somehow. So it did cost me because I did develop, uh, you know, not a, not a really good personality in a way. You know, I pursued the wrong shortcuts. I just say that. Uh, and, you know, I was punished for it, but I was able to somehow face and accept uh, my own errors, uh, view from the world, and hopefully correct those to move on with life the way I would want. Uh, not even two years later, the locals started to complain to me that Young girls, 10, 11 years old, young girls in the forest here, where they would go for a walk, for a run, 12 years old girls, they would be chased by this bad Chechens here. So this type of pedophilia gained uh, a tremendous uh, push, popularity, also amongst the people that first laugh at me and stuff like this. I really did not even know what they are laughing at. And then before you know, they alone became part of something that uh, uh, at first they laughed at. I never did. So that's all I want to say. It's a little bit touchy, but I'm pretty good with this uh, words, issues, if you like. I know how to handle them. Uh, supposedly, everybody would turn against me again at this point and uh, Polish politic and they would turn against me and it would be just, I would be just left on my own, but, you know, uh, I feel like I don't really need uh, anyone other than God. Uh, cheers. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Till next time. Bye-bye. From Grotniki, near Watch in Poland.